Hi guys, welcome to the video, Hugh from Home Network Solutions and today I'm going to show you how to set up DuckDNS on your Unified console. It's very simple, DuckDNS is a free service and enables you to have a domain name to access a device on your network. Now this is using port forwarding which is not my favourite thing to use, I don't love this, but it can be useful in some instances, specifically for things like CCTV, if you've got monitoring companies and things like that, they like to use this kind of service. Okay, so let's get on with it. Okay, so I've gone to duckdns.org and I've signed into my account. It's very simple to create an account, it doesn't take long at all. And the interface is very simple as well. You just get presented with this page. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create our subdomain. So what you do is just type it in the box here. Now you're going to have to potentially find one that is available. So if you pick something too obvious, then it might not be available. So I'm going to say HNS tube. Uh, I've just put that in capitals, it's not required, but we'll add domain. And there we have it. So we've got our domain has been created and it's just picked up uh, the local IP address of uh, the machine that I'm running on. So uh, that is nice and easy. If you need to update the IP, you can just press that and it'll pull it in. Or if you know the IP, which you can get uh, in a minute from your Unify console, then you can just input that in there. Okay, so now we've done that, that's it from the DuckDNS side for the minute. So what I'm going to do is go over to my console. Okay, so I've signed into my Dream Machine and I'm in Network. So I'm going to add Settings and then Internet. And then from there we go to our WAN. So in this case, I'm going to be using my primary RAN, WAN 1. So I'll click on that. And then if you go down a little bit, you'll see this bit here that says Dynamic DNS. So you create a new Dynamic DNS. And then we're going to select our service. So it's pretty simple. We just scroll down to Duck DNS. There it is. Now, in the host name, you basically just put that uh, subdomain that you created. So if we just go back to here, ours is hnstube.duckdns.org. So that's what we need to put in there. So hnstube.duckdns.org. Okay. Username. Username is your account username on your DuckDNS. So again, that is up at the top where it says account on here. That will be your username, which in most cases is just going to be the email address. So I can copy and paste that. It's easier. And go back over here and put that into my username. Your password. Again, we'll go back to DuckDNS. That is your token. So where it says token here, you select that. Copy that. And pop that in the password field. Okay, for your server, I'm gonna put this in the comments below, but essentially you type, well, you put this in, I'm putting in here, and then at the end you say it says equals token. So it's this whole bit, and then equals token. And then what you need to do is basically grab your token again, copy that, and then put that, I can never get it to get off the equals, press paste, We'll just put that equals sign back in. So that's the token with that um, address that I just put in there, um, which you can find in the comments. And that is it. We press create. We don't need to update that. So now what I've done, so we've got a dynamic DNS set up. So now what I want to do is I want to forward to a specific device on my network. So in this case, I'm just going to use a Uniview NVR, which I've got here. I don't actually use it anymore, but I'm just going to use that in this example. So if we go across to security, and then we're going to go across to port forwarding, and then we're going to put it in, I'm just going to call it CCTV. We're going to select our WAN, which we've got as WAN 1. Uh, and you can limit where it comes from. So if you want a specific IP address to limit from uh, where it comes from, you can put it in here, or you can just leave it as any. For this one, I'm just gonna leave it as any. I'm gonna be deleting this as soon as I'm done with this video, so this is not actually something I'm gonna be using. But you're gonna go to the port. So depending which port your device is using, you need to pop it in here. For this one, it's gonna be port 80. Uh, and then we'll just update the forward port so it's exactly the same. And then you need to put in the IP address of that device. So in this case, it's 192.168.200.226. Okay, and we're gonna enable login. I think it uses TCP, but I'm not 100% sure, so I'm gonna leave it as both. Right, so now I can press add entry. And now we should be good to go. So now if we go to that address 
um, we should be taken straight to the MVR interface. Okay, so I'm gonna input this just into my uh, browser window here, but I am on the same local network, so I'm gonna check it afterwards on my phone on a 5G connection just to make sure. So we'll just test it here first. HNS tube dot duck dns dot org and that should be all we need to do I'll just check I've got that right yep press enter and it's taken me to the MVR's interface so it has worked locally but now let's try it on our phone okay so I'm on a 5G connection here I'm not connected to my local network and I've got browser window open I'm going to put that address in so it's HNS tube in fact it's auto filled it for me I'll press go And there we are, we are onto the Uniview NVR interface. So that was really very nice and simple. Okay, that was it. I hope you found it useful. Please do subscribe to the channel and I'll see you next time. Thanks.